Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 18 on page 106. Show that the tangent to the curve y equal to open bracket x squared plus x minus 2 close bracket to the power of 3 plus 3 at the point 1, 3 is also the tangent to the curve at another point. Step 1. Find the general slope. y prime equals to 3 times x squared plus x minus 2 to the power of 2 times 2x plus 1. If you look at the point 1, 3, which means for x equal to 1, the slope equals to 3 times 1 plus 1 minus 2 close bracket square times 2 plus 1. This equals to 3 times 1 plus 1 minus 2, that's going to be 0. Which means the entire slope, when you work it out, is going to be 0. So again, this means it's going to be a horizontal line. Now because it's a horizontal line, and if you look at the function, it's a cube plus 3. Uh, there might be a second point with exactly that slope. So you have to go back and solve for the second value of x. So you go back, you write down x squared plus x minus 2 quantity cubed plus 3 equals 2. Now think about that horizontal line, right? And if you look at this point, 1, 3, this implies that there's another x value that's going to give you a slope of 0 with the same y value of 3. So this is going to be 3. So when you solve for this, you can subtract 3 from both sides, which means x squared plus x minus 2 quantity cubed equals to 0. The opposite of to the power of 3 is to take the cube root. So x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0, simple factoring. x squared becomes x times x. The factors of 2 that would give you a sum of 1 is going to be x plus 2, x minus 1. And as expected, x equals to negative 2, x equals to 1. The fact that we found one of the answers 1, 3 was not a surprise. But the more important part is this, x equals to negative 2. So if you go back, what that means is the coordinate, negative 2, 3, is the second point that's also a tangent with a slope of 0. Now, of course, the equation of this line is going to be y equal to 3. Or, in standard form, y minus 3 equals to 0. Now, here's how you can double check. You don't want to just kind of do this and stop. You want to kind of go back and say, does this really make sense? So the best way to double check is to draw a diagram. So if you use Desmos, you can go back, graph the function x to the power of 2 plus x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 3. If you focus on the final answer, which was y equal to 3, here's what you should be able to see. So in the question, you were given the point 1, 3. Notice how there's a horizontal line. The slope's going to be 0. They're asking you to show that there's another point which we found to be negative 2, 3. I hope this makes sense.